Hey everybody! Welcome to the Paper Magpie here on YouTube. My name is Leela and I have got a haul for you today. So, um, recently we went to the Mitsua Marketplace, the one in Edgewater, New Jersey, and they've got... For those of you who don't know, the Mitsua Marketplace in Edgewater, New Jersey is sort of like a mini, 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 mini Japan. Um, and it's got... There's a grocery store with all kinds of specialty Japanese foods, and there are a bunch of little stores. There's like an auto stuff store. There are a bunch of little cafes. There's a place uh, where you can get onigiri. There's a... Santoka Ramen, there's a Tendon place, there's a bunch of like restaurants and little shops in the actual Mitsuo building itself. And then in the shopping plaza buildings across the street from it, there's like a music school and a Kinokuniya bookstore and a Mars New York, like sundry, you know, sort of zaka shop kind of thing and a couple of other little things. There's this uh, Shiseido too, but I can't afford to shop there, unfortunately for me. But anyway, um, inside the Kinukuniya is a stationery store, so I got some stuff from there. I got some stuff from the Mars New York, so I just kind of wanted to take you through um, the things that I bought, because I think you will get a kick out of them. So I'm going to start with um, the stuff that I got from the Kinukuniya bookstore, and I haven't even taken this stuff out of the bags yet, which I probably should have done, so I apologize for the noise. I'm just going to do the other one now, too, so that you only have to hear that once. Okay, good to go. So, um, some of the things, well, these are all of the things that I got at the Kinokuniya bookstore, and this was actually a very light haul for me, because I'm trying to be good. So this first thing is a uh, notebook, and it's by Apika. And this is in the, it doesn't say, it says CD15HN, but I don't know what, like, I think this is a B5 size, I want to say, I don't know, but the reason I got this Apica notebook is because this paper is the nicest paper I have ever written on in my life, and it's a little bit thick. But it's just so smooth, and if you ever have the chance to pick up one of these Apica notebooks, I mean, they are just, oh, they're so nice. And I'm probably going to use this for work, but I mean, if I could get this paper to print out my planner inserts on, I just would be so happy forever, all the time, all the time. So that is one of the things that I got that I completely love. Oh, sorry for jarring you. The other thing that I got... It's just a, a writing pad. It's nothing fancy, but this is nice, smooth paper. It's it, This is very light paper, um, so, you know, you can put a lot of sheets in an envelope. It's only lined on one side. The other side is not, but it's nice. I like the lined paper. They have it in vertical line, too, but I don't write in Japanese, so I don't need vertical lines, but it's neat, and it's really nice, and it's, it's very light, so very cool. And then, of course, how could I not buy stickers? So, these are animal stickers, the animal world, and they are puffy stickers, and I just got such a kick out of these, like, adorable little, adorable little animals. I just can't even, I mean, there's a bunny on a rainbow, there's a cupcake, there's a little hedgehog, like, I just, I just, I couldn't leave without them, because they're so freaking cute. And then the other thing that I saw are these, and these are Sumiko Gurashi, for those of you who don't know them. Um, and I think that roughly translates to things in the corner. Um, and the Sumiko Gurashi are all like, there's a polar bear, and there's a penguin, and there's a dinosaur, and it's all, and there's like a, a the last piece of tonkatsu. It's all things from the far corners or in the corner. Um, and it's three separate sets. And when you open these guys up, if I can figure out how to open them up, there we go. And they're way more expensive here. I mean, this, there are four fifty each. I'm sure they'd be like, I don't know, two hundred yen or less in Japan. But that's the price you pay for import. So once you open it up, there's a little plastic thing in here, a little plastic sack. And then I can't read any of this, so I have no idea what it's telling me. Except it looks like I don't know. There are ten designs for fifty pieces or something. But these are all just little plastic guys. They're not adhesive. They're just little clear plastic. So the three packs all together, 
I think constitute all the characters, except maybe the dinosaur. I didn't see him. Um, you know, but you can, I can run these through my sticker maker. Oh, that's not focused at all. I can run these through my sticker maker and make them stickers. I can put them, you know, in little fly leaves or behind things or whatever. So I just thought these were super cute. I love these characters. And I figured, yeah, they're not so expensive that I can't buy them, even though they're completely frivolous. But, you know, it is what it is. So I got those at the Kinopania bookstore in the little stationery corner. And then uh, we went over to the Mars, and I had to put away two-thirds of the stuff that I had in my basket because, again, Im you know, import makes things very costly, and I just... There were certain things that I had to have, and you'll see why. So for those of you who know anything about me, you may know that I am a huge fan of my neighbor Totoro. And they had two sets of Totoro masking tape. And this is very exciting to me because although I have ordered Totoro masking tape through Etsy and on eBay and stuff before, this is the first time I have ever seen anything come with a Ghibli approved sticker. So for those of you who don't know that, let me just show you. So anything that comes out of the Ghibli studio is not licensed unless it's got the Ghibli approval on it, and that's still not very focused. And granted, I mean, that could be faked. I don't know, maybe they're buying those stickers from a bootlegger or something. But anyway, I just got really excited that they were official. So despite the fact that they were $12.99 a piece, <sighs> I picked them up. So they are very, very cute designs. And then the other thing... Thing. I got another washi that <laughs> they had Sailor Moon washi tape and I just couldn't not I mean they had four different designs but again these rolls were six bucks a pop I, I couldn't not after spending $25 on those four rolls I just I, so I narrowed it down to one and this one is very very pink and almost kind of plasticated it's more of a plastic tape than a washi tape um, Come on. So it looks like this. It's got the the makeup ones and the and the holy grail and the bows and and the um, compact locket and stuff. So you know, fun times with all of that. And then the other thing that I got were these Hello Kitty pens, which I mean, there's not really that much special about them except that the one time I was down there and it had to be maybe two years ago now. I got this Studio Kuma pen and it was a very fine tip blue point or blue ballpoint pen and I just I love it so much I haven't even gotten rid of the refill yet even though there is absolutely nothing left in it. Um, but these have the closest ink and the closest tip size that I have found to this pen which I've never been able to find again. So first of all if you live anywhere where this pen is still being sold please send me a message and we can work something out to get me more of these because I would really appreciate that. I love, this is my favorite pen possibly of all time. Not that Ridakuma is my favorite thing, but just the way that it wrote and the size of the point and the color of the blue ink, like everything about this pen made me happy. So these Hello Kitty ones are the closest I've found to replicating that, but they are not an exact match by any means. So that is it. I mean, there's not really... The only other thing I did get, I'm sorry, was the October issue of Very Magazine, which, as you can see, is in Japanese. I don't read Japanese, but I like to look at the pictures, and I love Japanese fashion, so I picked that up, too. Plus, it was at a 10% discount, because in Japan, it would have come with shampoo and conditioner, but apparently it's against the law to sell whatever they were giving away. So normally give, they give away like bags or a scarf or, you know, a set of tights or something. But yeah, so I got a discount, which is nice because those magazines are expensive. For I mean, if it helps, for example, this goes for 720 yen in Japan. That translates to them charging about, I don't know, like 13 or 14 dollars in the States for this. But because I got a discount, it was like 12 or 11 or 12 something. So anyway, expensive, but totally worth it once a year, you know, check out the October fashions. So that is it. That is my miniature haul from the Mitsuo Marketplace in Edgewater, New Jersey, the Kinokuniya Bookstore, and the Mars New York um, Zaka Shop. So I hope that you enjoyed this little haul, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.